welcome to this edition of SAU Magazine, a weekly program featuring news, profiles, sports, commentary, interviews, and special events, all coming to you from the campus of Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia. This is a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Amanda Weber. And I'm Corey Wedges. SAU receives continuing accreditation from the North Central Association. The announcement came late this week from President David Rankin. A review team from NCA was on campus Monday and Tuesday for a series of meetings with SAU community. Their accreditation was granted through the year 2013. The team was complimentary of students, faculty, trustees, alumni, and friends of SAU. Members of the North Central team mentioned areas of strength for SAU. A website detailed chapters of a report SAU prepared for the NCA team. Dr. Elizabeth Davis coordinated the SAU self-study. This process has taken place over the past two years. During the campus visit, team members met with representatives of each school at SAU. They asked follow-up questions, checked on the accuracy of the report, and made recommendations for improvement. The Small Business Development Center at Southern Arkansas University, along with other partners, will present How to Start a Business in Arkansas for those who are considering owning their own business. The seminar will be held from 5 to 9 p.m. on Thursday, November 21st at the Charles O. Ross Center in Camden. To register for the seminar, call op-ed at 870-836-2210. Advanced registration is encouraged. SAU is holding a workshop on teaching art and music this Wednesday. All in-service and pre-service teachers, preschool through university, are invited to this all-day workshop. The workshop will begin at 8.30 a.m. in the Curriculum Center, located on the first floor of the Miguel Library on the university campus. There is no charge for this workshop. To attend, please register by calling Rita Ray by November 18th at 870-235. The third annual Students Acquiring Knowledge Through Economics competition was recently held at SAU. Almost 200 students and teachers from schools in southwest Arkansas arrived on campus prepared to compete in one or more economic competitions. They were divided into six divisions based on grade level. Teachers and students were rewarded for their work on their economic projects with cash prizes and other awards. To celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, Spanish classes at SAU have worked on projects that allow students to learn more about countries and cultures. Students in the Spanish American Culture and Civilization class were assigned a project that would help them become more globally aware. They were required to research and prepare a presentation on a country of their choice. They had to learn the history, culture, educational system, and government. Once the research was complete, each student made a presentation before a group of their peers and professors. This has been a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Corey Wages. And I'm Amanda Weber. With the SAU Profile, I'm Joanna Eaton. And I'm DeCarlo Collins. Known as the oldest African-American college fraternity, Alpha Phi Alpha began this journey of excellence in 1906. The SAU chapter, known as Kappa Iota, was founded in 1975. For 27 years, the Kappa Iota chapter has worked hard in academics, leadership, and service in the community. Projects like Highway Cleanup, Project Alpha, and Go to High School, Go to College have helped the Magnolia community and surrounding areas since the chapter's beginning. Kappa Iota is also known for its step competitions. These young men have won step shows in Arkansas, Louisiana, and Texas. They carry the SAU spirit to every school they visit. Alpha Phi Alpha represents true brotherhood among other Greek organizations. It will continue to be a leader on the SAU campus. The fraternity's goal is to influence young men to be leaders in their communities. With the SAU Profile, I'm DeCarlo Collins. And I'm Joanna Eaton. SAU Sports, I'm Mary Ligon. No football playoffs this year. The Mule Riders lost to Harding University 33-13. Harding is one of the top teams in the Gulf South Conference. Coach Steve Quinn felt the Riders were not as prepared as Harding. In the first half, the Mule Riders fumbled five times, had three first downs, and could not get untracked. In the first quarter, defensive back Jordan Babineau had an interception. SIU quarterback Ted Williams hooked up with Nick Lewis on a 56-yard play. It led to a touchdown. I am Lisa Cotton. Lewis caught four passes for 86 yards. Williams alternated quarters with backup Damian Melanson. 
The Bisons tied the game 7-7 when quarterback Freddie Langston found wide receiver Nate Dutille in the corner of the end zone. Harding dominated the game from this point on. SAU is now 7-3 on the season. It concludes the 2002 campaign at Henderson State on Saturday. SAU is ranked 10th in the NCAA Division II South Region. In men's basketball, the Mule Riders will take on the Akron Wingfoots Thursday at 7 p.m. in the W.T. Watson Gym. Several of SAU's players are some of the region's best. Head coach Brian Doherty encourages enthusiasm from the fans. He expects a large turnout for this ball game since this year's team is talented. Returning player Brian Biley was an all Gulf South second team performer last year. He is 6'4 and averages about 17 points per game. Another crowd pleaser is 6'6 Leandre Gibson. He is a forward who came to SAU from Shreveport. Returning sophomore Tyree Richards plays center for the Mule Riders. He is 6 feet 7 and a native of Kingston, Jamaica. He is not a starter, but Coach Doherty feels Richards is a key asset to the team. Jim Buck Walton will also be returning this year. Walton came to SAU from Lincoln, Arkansas. Coach Doherty would like to see the team come together and see the teammates learn to accept their positions on the court. SAU Sports, for Mary Ligon, I am Lisa Cotton. With commentary, I'm Charles Bostic. And I'm Tabitha Taylor. Who studies 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Probably no one. Students are always looking for something to do when not studying, and Magnolia isn't exactly a tourist attraction. Most towns with a major university have something a student might enjoy. These include a movie theater, bowling alley, club, or maybe even some better restaurants. Magnolia did, to a certain extent, have a theater and a bowling alley, but both have been shut down. What harm would it do to open up a few better restaurants in town? If Mag Magnolia wanted to keep students here on the weekends, why not open something for them? Wouldn't this help both the university and the town earn money? Students spend what little money they have in surrounding cities like Texarkana and El Dorado. Why do they do this? It's only because Magnolia can be plain boring. A town with more to offer entertainment-wise would bring in more students and this would translate into more money. With commentary, I'm Tabitha Taylor. And I'm Charles Bostic. With an SAU police log, I'm Cindy Williams. And I'm Kyle Holloman. On November 4th, Nakia Coleman reported that her car had been broken into. Coleman said she parked her 1997 black Toyota in Brinson parking lot at 12.15 a.m. on Saturday, November 2nd. She said that when she returned at 4 p.m., she noticed $5 in cash missing from inside her vehicle, as well as two keys on a key ring. Since there were no signs of forced entry, Coleman believes she accidentally left the driver's side door unlocked. The keys were for her room at Bessie Hall. No suspects at this time. On November 7, Michael Addis came to University Police to report a theft. Addis reports that on November 1st, at some time after 3 p.m., he had left his keys in the lock of his door. Addis was in his room for 30 to 45 minutes. Addis left his room without realizing that his keys were missing. At this point, Addis thought he had lost the keys. A male subject, Matt, came to Addis asking Addis if he was still missing his keys. Addis said they were, so Matt gave him two keys that he found in the toilet. Addis tried the keys and found out they were his. Addis' keychain was not returned. It is described as a silver circle that holds a Ethiopian coin. The coin has a picture of a man on one side and a lion on the other. A silver chain is attached and the value of the keychain is reported at $35. On November 5th, Officer Kevin Murphy was dispatched to the Magnolia Police Department to take a report. SAU student Kevin Higwood had reported his truck stolen from the Agri Child's parking lot. Higwood and Daniel Bass reported that they left the truck in the parking lot around 1.15 a.m. At 2.45 a.m., they returned to find the truck gone. A be on the lookout was issued for the stolen truck. There were no signs of forced entry and a key may have been left in the vehicle. On November 11th, the truck was recovered in rural Columbia County. With an SCU police log, I'm Kyle Holloman. And I'm Cindy Williams. I'm Samantha Skiles. And I'm Liz Matern. With job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center. Supplemental instructors are needed for math, general psychology, and history. For more information, contact Stephanie Manning in the Department of Student Support Services located in Wilson Hall, room 120C, or call 235-4052. Work study is preferred. Student custodial workers and setup assistants are needed for the W.T. Watson Gymnasium. Duties include cleaning locker rooms, bathrooms, weight rooms, and assisting with setup before games and cleanup after games. 
contact Petty Carpenter or Jay Adcox at 235-4102 or in room 114 in the gym. Interview times are 8 a.m. until noon. That number is 235-4102. I'm Liz Matern. And I'm Samantha Skiles. With job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center. With this week's entertainment news, I'm Tammy Iverson. And I'm Annette Phillips. Students enrolled in Dr. Elba Birmingham Percorny's Intermediate Spanish class recently made a presentation and exhibit that explains the significance of the Mexican celebration, El Dia de los Muertos. Students were assigned the task of researching, examining, and explaining different aspects of the celebration. Some of those included historical and cultural background of the Day of the Dead. It is celebrated every year at the same time as Halloween and the Christian Holy Days of All Saints Day. On Monday, the SAU Chamber Singers had a fundraiser at Pizza Inn of Magnolia. The group waited tables from 5 p.m. until 8.30. The all-you-can-eat buffet costs $5.49 per person. The Chamber Singers would like to say thanks for donations of $310. A portion of the proceeds will go to defray expenses at the upcoming Magical Feast. It will be held on December 6 and 8 at the First United Methodist Church. The SAU Chamber Singles will be presenting the annual Magical Feast. The play being presented this year is entitled The Sorry Tellers. The dates and times for the feast are 6th and 8th of December. At 6.30 p.m., there will be a pre-show wassail, and at 7 o'clock, the feast will begin. It will be held at the First United Methodist Church. The price is $20 for faculty and staff and $16 for students. Deadline for reservations is Thursday, December 5th. Contact Ron Hall for questions at 235-4246. The 5th Annual Fall Fest and Chili Cook-Off was held on Tuesday. Students and staff were on hand to sample and taste the many varieties of chili. Uncle performed several song and dance numbers. The People's Choice Award went to Alpha Kappa Alpha. Taking home the championship this year was Alpha Ta Alpha. And that's this week's entertainment news. The SAU Broadcast Journalism Degree Program features a wide variety of professional experiences. Students are responsible for producing and marketing radio and television programs each semester. SAU Magazine, a radio news program, is available to stations in Arkansas and bordering states. The SAU Report, a television interview program, is available to cable systems in southwest Arkansas and northeast Texas. More than a dozen courses are offered in the SAU Broadcast Journalism Degree Program. Writing, reporting, and hands-on experience are stressed in these courses. In addition, graduating students are more perceptive analysts of mass communication and broadcast journalism. They are very competitive in the job field and for opportunities as graduate students. Information about the Broadcast Journalism Degree Program can be found on the internet at saumag.edu. That's saumag.edu for an excellent educational opportunity. With this week's SAU calendar, I'm Nick Davis. On Monday, November 18th, SGA Traffic Appeals Court will meet at 4 p.m. Spring Advanced Registration for all sophomores also begins. Tuesday, Team MBSF will host a Fall Fest at 7 p.m. The Fall Fest will be followed by their normal meeting at 7.30 p.m. Wednesday, November 20th, will be the last day to apply for May graduation. Team MBSF will have Bible study at 7 p.m. There will also be an IGC meeting at 7.30 p.m. Thursday, Team MBSF will be having prayer and praise services. Friday, the Riderettes travel to Marshall, Texas to take on the ladies of Wiley College. The Riders will also be in action as they travel to Conway to take on East Central University. On Saturday, the Riders and Riderettes will both be in action. And that's this week's SAU Calendar. SAU Magazine is a production of broadcast journalism students in the Department of Theater and Mass Communication at Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia.